What's up everybody? In this video, I'm sharing with you all this Sentinel with Wolverine PX Previews exclusive Funko Pop, which I'll be honest, like as soon as I saw this available for pre-order, I immediately did a pre-order because I really feel like I've been waiting a good while to see an actual Sentinel Funko Pop done in this style. And I, I really am glad they included the Wolverine to give that sense of scale with the Sentinel. Now, for me personally, I didn't really uh, read the X-Men comics as a kid. I think I read them kind of here and there as I got older, but I was mainly introduced to um, the X-Men and the Sentinels by extension of course through the animated series in the 90s. As a matter of fact if I remember correctly I think the Sentinels were in the very first episode because they were actually trying to capture Jubilee if I remember correctly. But um, yeah I'm so glad that Funko did this figure here and um, I did a pre-order on it with Entertainment Earth and then they were nice enough to actually send one over for me to um, you know review and share with you all here on the channel. I'm keeping my pre-order though because there actually is a chase variant which uh, it would be nice to look up and get that and of course when you do pre-orders with Entertainment Earth if the Funko Pop has a chase variant then you do get a, le a legitimate chance at that chase variant so yeah I'm keeping my fingers crossed that maybe I could get that chase it is a black light chase I think it looks pretty awesome um, so yeah you actually can pre-order this right now on Entertainment Earth it's a PX previews exclusive like I said um, they actually got the um, older um, X-Men figures back here. I actually got a couple of figures from this wave here, but that is pretty cool to see them there again. I'm definitely going to get this out of box. We will take a closer look at it. Yeah, and if you uh, pre-order this with Entertainment Earth, um, I believe it ships out in February. We'll take a closer look at the Wolverine figure first. I like that he is in that leaping pose which of course he would have to do some leaping in order to attack a sentinel and what's amazing about the character Wolverine is I mean you see the size difference there and even when you see it like in live action or in the comics or whatever you still can believe that Wolverine can um, hold his own against the sentinels because he's just that powerful of a character especially with his um, adamantium claws and I really like that with this figure they did go with the orange and brown suit that's the one I prefer I know some people are a bigger fan of the yellow and blue but um, yeah, this is the color scheme that I really like. This is a really awesome looking Wolverine. Of course, even with this mini minifigure here, it's still a bobblehead. That's a licensing thing when it comes to Marvel. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool little figure here. Like even if this little figure was just sold on its own, I think it'd be awesome to have. You know, it doesn't take up much space and it is a cool representation of Wolverine. And then of course we got the big sentinel here and he's a bobblehead as well because uh, again that's a licensing thing. Although I will say this figure seems to be uh, much better balanced than some of the other um, large pops that I've seen that have to be bobbleheads. Some of them you know they want the head wants to lean one way or the other and it might even like make the figure want to fall over but this one is very well balanced. Such a great look for the character and I love all the detail on the sculpt. Just very true to the comics in the animated series as well which um, I'm looking forward to the continuation of the animated series the uh, 90s X-Men is ba basically coming back and I think they said it does pick up from where the series left off which is gonna be pretty awesome to see so yeah this Sentinel looks amazing of course the figure does have some nice heft to it I think um, like I said I'm not concerned at all about this one tipping over at all and when it comes to these larger figures like this sometimes I'll keep them in the box sometimes I like to go ahead and take them out um, this is one I think at least for a while at least for a while I think I would like to leave this this one out to be able to see all the detailing with it really awesome figure there and like I said I'm holding out you know to see if I get that black light um, chase as well that would be really nice to come across so um yeah this is gonna be a very quick video here I just want to share this with you all a uh, definitely big shout out to entertainment earth for continuing to support my channel they're definitely one of my favorite companies to shop with and to work with as well um, so definitely um, and as a matter of fact what I do I will um, link um, in the description where you can go directly and pre-order this if you are interested and also check out and see what else Enter Entertainment Earth has going on but uh, yeah let me know your thoughts about this particular figure here and about the Sentinels um, in general um, let me know as well uh, another thought just crossed my mind of course we did get to see Sentinels in X-Men Days of Future Past which is one of the better X-Men movies but I know the Sentinels had a different design going on there and uh, Funko has done some um, X-Men movie pops so would you like to see that version of the Sentinel as well you know just uh yeah share any thoughts that you have down in the comments I look forward to reading your comments thank you all for taking the time to check out this video and I will talk to you all again real soon